Your Excellency, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, what can you tell us um, that you hope this Congress will bring about uh, the main challenges that are being discussed when it comes to energy and consumption, especially coming from Bangladesh? First, let me congratulate the um, UAE government for organizing this uh, summit and bringing together uh, ministers and other experts from different backgrounds and perspectives which means a lot because uh, it's not one size fits all. Uh, so we all have to share and then customize uh, the solutions to our needs. UE has made big progress in terms of cutting edge technology. When I was talking to His Excellency, the Minister for Energy and Infrastructure, he said that, for example, uh, you are having a pilot project on uh, hydrogen fuel. Then uh, a, another project on carbon capture and storage. And uh, it's being stored in, in uh, wells, gas wells. A very big solar farm, um, a thousand megawatt. So, um, and also desalination plant where, you know, um, I asked him there that, you know, during night, you, how do you store electricity from so they are pump and storage up in the mountain. They pump water with solar power during the day. And then, you know, the, um, uh, it, it gives power during the night. So these are very creative solutions. Uh, not all of them will apply for us. Mm. But um, that's what I was going to ask you in terms of cooperation and maybe advanced tech solutions. Where do you see areas of collaboration between UAE and Bangladesh? I think we need to talk more. Uh, we, we have already a lot of collaboration, you know. Uh, we are a big customer of Ednoc, a very long relationship with Ednoc. Uh, but, you know, traditionally it has been an all exporting country. But now it's um, changing its image and also its capabilities in terms of, as I said, uh, technologies, even manufacturing. We just saw they manufacture very high end cables also. So I think the, there should be there are exchanges of delegation uh, to find out areas of cooperation, uh, which will mutually uh, which will be mutually beneficial for both of the countries. I think we can go. You know, Bangladesh has about 170 million population. In a land area, of only 150,000 square kilometers. That's 1,200 people per square kilometer the most dense populated country, large country in the world. So uh, there are things we do to solve our problems, which uh, other countries can adapt in the same way we can. For example, uh, I, I tell people that we have a million Teslas, one million Teslas. So people will be surprised. Mm -hmm. But these are tri-wheelers run on batteries yeah. and they run a village in small towns. So these are like, you know, golf buggies, but there's nothing wrong in it. So uh, each country will have its own uh, solutions you know, to its own genius. But I think the... What, what, what would you say are the top priorities uh, that countries should be focused on in light of this um, technological parity between countries and the gaps in between? You know, um, there's a lot of emphasis on decarbonization. Now, as I said also, each country has its own problems. For example, we don't have land. So why do you put up solar farm? There's no land available. And how do you store it? There's no mountain available. But then again, we use the roof of all houses and villages to have standalone solar home system. About six million households. That multiplied by five is 30 million people got their basic services, but that's for a period. Now, if we want to uh, have a parallel pathway where you use uh, fossil fuel as transition fuel, it is going to be most likely gas and we import LNG from Middle East. Then we need to have what is called hydrogen as a fuel, whether it's a green hydrogen or blue hydrogen, and I was told by His Excellency the Minister that they are planning to uh, 
commercialized. And then fuel cells for cars. Then, as I said, carbon capture and storage, they're already experimenting with that. So uh, that will help us to go with traditional technology, even coal-fired power plants, where we capture all the carbon and store them, then it becomes carbon neutral. It becomes a clean energy. Uh, in uh, nuclear power also, uh, we are um, about to have two gigawatt of nuclear power next year. Uh, UE is already up and coming. So, um, I, and, and there are plans to expand that uh, to f four gigawatt, I think. So I, we, we, there are, um, both of both the countries are just entering uh, nuclear power. So we should exchange some notes. Um, um, these are Korean reactors here. And we, have, we are uh, putting up Russian reactors. So I think there is the scope for each of us to learn. Uh, our uh, energy cost will be slightly lower than th this year. But then uh, there are, must be some compensatory benefits because we have plans to set up more nuclear power plants. So that's one of our the major avenues for uh, decarbonization and base load clean power. Mm -hmm.